to pay for that. That's a fact. So, like I said, I, I learned as I as I went. Now, um, yeah, most of the um engineer, if I I got an engineer right now, I mean Fuliano, we working on a project right now. But um, yeah, most of the engineer making all my beats right now. What's your most influenced song that you felt like you created? That was really personal that touched you. Oh, for me personally, mm -hmm. um, I got a song on the EP that's out now called Sunshine. It's the last song on the track. But it's basically a song just about um my life, how I grew up. Just about like how my mother had to hustle to just to support me. My aunt always worked a job. I never seen her like really come up out of working a job. My uncle having to, you know, rob the fierce son than me getting old that having to go out and support myself. So it's just a, basically a song just about my life and even to me trying to make my grandmother proud. I got times in the song where I say, yo, I, um, hustling so long trying to make my grandmother proud, never seen a smile, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, just to never see your grandmother look. I ain't never seen my grandmother like really say, I'm proud of you, but you gotta understand there's certain things that you do in life that you gotta, like people looking at you. When you when you going outside every day, these people, my grandmother, they looking at you, these people that's raising you, they looking at you every day, so they what, see you. What, was your family very um, affectionate? Yeah, my family's a very supportive family. Like they, they, they the type of people that, um, they all came from the street. So when it come to their kids, their nephews, nieces, they trying to like, yo, go to college, go do this, go to, why would you wanna, What's wrong with you? Like, why are you trying to do this? Like, another way. But poverty is poverty. Like, I always told my uncle all the time, like, yo, you gotta understand something, bro. Like, we don't have nothing. And he looked, I remember that day he looked at me like I was crazy. I'm like, bro, we don't got nothing. So what you gonna think? I'm gonna go just wait for it to come to me. And that moment he knew, like, yo, I can't tell this man nothing because he's gonna go do it for his family. And I can't tell a man not to go outside and support his family. No matter how he's gonna go do it. You have children? No. This is just me talking about like my grandmother. I got a, a, a younger brother. No, definitely. That I make that's, sure that's, just I understand. like it's when still I talk your about family. family. Yeah, this is my family. Like my my dream is to get this whatever, and if it's an independent deal or it's a distribution, whatever, and make sure my family is good. Like I got different businesses that I can, you know what I mean? Like I just want to make sure my family is straight. So anything happened to me or. Once I'm 60, 70, 80 years old, and it's my time to go, my little brother could run it, or little sister could run it, or I my kid it. could run it, or we could keep this generational wealth going. And you know, I always tell people that I feel like um, my mother's 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 generation, like everyone was always taught to go to school, get a good education, A, B, and C. Why you never been taught yeah. to like go to school, get a good education, open your own business? <laughs> It's, it's hard. Now you learn the craft. Now you know everything to do. Don't do, learn everything you do to work your ass off for them. You open up your own shit so people can work for you. You can do the same exact thing, but they didn't know that. I don't. I, I think they knew that, but they just it was hard felt like them. it was too hard. It but was I feel like it was too, it was easier then because it wasn't as expensive and things of that nature. Yeah, but but they didn't have the resources because they didn't know. Yeah, and God, you know, at so that it time, wasn't hard. I didn't know. Minorities were still a minority, so it was really, really getting too many black. No, but you, you know had a mean? lot of black people that did, but they wasn't trying to tell you the juice and the sauce how they got on. Because I know a lot of people that own supermarkets and fucking laundry mats and corner stores and all type of shit. But how these how are the things. Exactly. They but they wouldn't tell you how. They wasn't no. so eager to share the knowledge. And it was just like, damn, if you think about a lot of other um, cultures, Chinese people, they stick together a lot. Indian people, they stick together a lot. Africans. They, yeah, they stick together a lot. I feel like us as black people, it sometimes it's like a crab in a barrel who can pull me. That's because our mind and our ancestors, that's what we've been taught. You have to break that generational curse, as you said, because yeah, our mind was say, programmed man. like that. I don't want to go and, you know, it. this conversation always bothers me because, no. not nah, for real, me being a 27-year-old black man, like, and being everything, being, Went through what I went through, going through the court system, being a charged felon at a youth age. All that shit is systematic, bro. That shit is, that that was planned for me. Like, it's not like I could have ducked that. Like, even if I went to school, got a college degree, it like, <coughs> black people is subject to the shit. Cause Especially it's, black it's, males. It's, it's, this is not for us, bro. I remember, Kanye, I remember Kanye West was telling everybody, not Kanye West, I'm sorry, Akon. Was telling people go to Africa. Whatever you doing now, go do it in Africa. 